Oh, we're just... We're just jumping right back in. Ladies and gentlemen out there, welcome to another episode of You, Me, Her, and Dante from the Devil May Cry series. All I'm gonna say is that uh, if you missed last episode, it looks like this, and you really want to go take a look at it. Um, I, I don't know how else to say it anymore, guys. I, I really don't know how else to say it. This game needs more attention because... I, I know that I've been uh, saying that this game is like Doki Doki, but uh, the reality is that Doki Doki is like this game in every sense of the word. And <laughs> allow me to read you some of the comments from last episode. DDLC, we have the creepiest visual novel girl in the world. You and me and her. Hold my baseball bat. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Mike, she opens the door. Oh, and <laughs> counting your veggies can be... <laughs> Whatever this language is, uh, left a comment and said, forget DDLC, this is the real deal. I even went out to take some fresh air and think about what just happened. I'm not even gonna play with you guys, okay? Uh, some other people were telling me they have nightmares about this game after watching me play it. I, I couldn't stop thinking about it the entire night. I was just laying down in my bed. Honestly, I couldn't sleep for hours. I was just like thinking about what happened during this game. So how else can I say it? Either go play the game yourself or go watch my series, all right? I will link the playlist. As you can plainly see, uh, this is different. There's a good reason why that is. So for some reason, <laughs> For some reason, I'm restarting- <laughs> I just said that. For some reason, we're restarting the game, and I don't know why. I don't know what it means. Should I skip? I'm obviously not gonna reread everything, but why? Why am I stuck in a loop again? I knew this game was gonna have DDLC vibes, and I only say that because I played DDLC first, but this game did it in such a way that was so unique. Okay, you guys- you guys also like my- my- my choice of shirt today? I thought it was appropriate, you know? Okay, alright, so I have a theory. I think what we need to do is because now we can place a phone call, right? What we need to do is enter the code. I don't know if this is what we have to do for sure, but in last episode, before things went down, and I mean went down, like they just went all the end of the Joker movie down, that kind of down, like it took such a turn, boy. I can't even explain it to you. I just want people to experience this the way that I did. And I just, I, I can't, I, I want to somehow get this out here. This game deserves attention. It's, it's, it's an actual crime. Anyway, we got a code uh, last episode uh, from, from uh, Owie. No, no. Wait, yes, Owie. God. She said to enter it if anything bad happens to her. Yeah. <laughs> well, it did. Uh, we'll just say that. So let's, let's, I have a picture of my phone. I'm going to look it up. I ain't never going to have a birthday the same ever again. My God. Can't never listen to the happy birthday song ever again. Thanks, you, me, and her, and Knuckles. Oh, no, All right, so the code is, I have it right here. 999. I should really be calling 911, but okay. 0523. Can I even enter this entire number? I don't even know if I can. 05... Two, three. Oh, I can. Okay, let me for sure. Nine, 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 zero, five, two, three, zero, five, two, three. Oh, okay, that's easy. Okay, I'm gonna call it. What the? Did I miss dial? No way. Even if I did, it, it doesn't make any sense. Whenever there's a problem connecting a call, normally you're supposed to hear one of those automated messages, right? It's like this phone is broken or something. Before I check the call. <laughs> That's mine. The door opens. It's Miyuki. Wait a minute. Did this happen last time? Miyuki. Oh, God. I'm actually scared of this girl so much. Really, I didn't know you had a smartphone. I thought she had one of those old clamshell phones. I found it over at your house. What, you did? And maybe you forgot it. It was a long time ago, after all. But it's just so tacky looking, you know? So I got myself a new one. She takes out a shiny new smartphone out of her pocket. It's the latest model with the much bigger screen. As long as I got the SIM card, I don't need that one, the old one. Would you go ahead and toss it for me? What, throw it off the roof? Yeah, just throw it right off the roof. Yeah. Do I do it? Don't throw it. What if I don't? She wants me to do that. Just trade it in at a store somewhere. I, got, I want to get rid of it ASAP. Don't, don't be, hey, wait. She takes the phone from my hand. Yeah. Wow, she really tossed the phone. Was that Miyuki's phone? Or, uh, Aoi? And flings it over the safety fence. Aw, oh, man! The phone spins through the air. If it flies up in a perfect, perfectly straight gravity-defying line until it eventually vanishes from sight. That was a pretty good throw, huh? Almost too good. I know this crap ain't real. Gotta be changing the freaking theme and everything. At that speed, I almost thought it might shatter the fabric of the universe. Shall we head home, then? 
But Yutaro said, I'll have to turn him down. I'm the one who he invited up here after all. Oh, I see. And we haven't uh, told the rest of the class we're dating. Yuki looks at the- we're dating? Yuki looks at the floor bashfully. Or that we're living together? We're living together? And it's already been two whole weeks? It's been two whole weeks? <laughs> we'll have to tell them eventually, I guess. And she's like, and that we have a baby. <laughs> I just hope I'm good enough for you. Just don't hit me with a bat! You are, you aren't. Ooh, what if we say you aren't? Not quite. I see. Guess I'll have to try a little harder. Don't force yourself, alright? You tend to get tunnel vision over these things. Don't worry. Trust me, I can see it all just fine. Should I be skipping this? Shinichi, wake up, you dummy. Bro, if they start playing saxophone lessons, I'm gonna... S I don't care about music. I just don't. What the? Where am I? Why are we in this room? This was Haru's room. Miyuki's phone is sitting on the table with the game still launched. It's not healthy to pass out right after eating. You'll get fat. And if you're going to sleep, uh, at least sleep in a proper bed. Why do people say that? It's not even, like, real. You don't get fat from eating than sleeping. Oh, right. Sorry. Anime characters always say that crap, though. I collapse into the bed with my consciousness rapidly fades. Yeah. Yes. Of course you can't. Nemu, Nemu. But. <gasps> oh! Oh no! Please stop talking to me! I just want to play the game! Your save data is toast. And the prologue was a little different this time around, wasn't it? Someone's missing, aren't they? Yes! You. Owie! That's because I messed with the route branch code. And you wonder why people say this like Doki Doki. You need to be punished, you see. Or the, the, the other way around, really, is what I should be saying. God. I'm so scared. What are you gonna do to me? As she comes knocks on my house. <laughs> Good morning. I'm actually considering, guys, to make a separate video talking about the relation with this game and Doki Doki because it needs to be talked about more. It's almost, I, I can't make any statements, right? I can't like claim this or that because I don't know what's true and what's not true. But I mean, think about it. If you've gotten this far in the series and or if you've played the game yourself, do you really honestly believe that Dan Salvato has never played this game or didn't even know about it? It's almost really hard to tell. I'm not trying to spread any rumors or start drama or anything like that because I don't really care. I think I love both of these games in their own way, but at the same time, they're so similar, it's insane. And this game came out first, and it's like, it's not fair for this game because, you know, it, it didn't get the, it, it deserved the pop, it deserves more popularity, to be honest. I mean, even though I've experienced Doki Doki Literature Club, and you know, when I thought that was mind blowing, even at the time, I still think it is, it was a great game. For this game to be able to do almost essentially, essentially the same thing in it, but it did it in such a unique way that it, it got to me. It really gave me chills and scared me. <laughs> it's just a shame that more people don't know about this. It's, and I know why, it's because it's not free. Just saying, I gotta talk about it more. I would like to explore that maybe in a separate video, guys. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that. She greets me as she cooks breakfast. Uh, what should we do today? Let's see. First, I'd like to test you. Test me how? The thing about me is I don't like liars, so I want you to tell me how you truly feel. So tell me, Shinichi, do you, you love me, don't you? Could you? That's a weird curse look and see. Could you confess your love to me after all, after all eternity? No, I'm not giving in. No, I can't. Come on, don't be like that. Nothing good will come of rejecting me, you know. You should reconsider. <laughs> I implore you to reconsider. I implore you to reconsider. God, I love that movie. <laughs> Wanna reach through the screen and slap freaking uh, Shinichi? Because, first of all, I hate him now, by the way. After last episode, I hate him. I hate him so much. No, I can't. Come on, don't be like that. Nothing good will come of rejecting. Why, why is it repeating? No, I can't. Come on, don't be like that. Why? Come on, don't be like that. Nothing good will come and reject me. My God, stop. What do I do? What do you want from me, lady? Whoa, well, welcome to... <laughs> welcome to this episode. I'm literally skipping like a thousand words a minute. Look at this. What do you... What do I do? She's forcing me to confess. I actually don't even have the... I can't even... I can't even confess to her. <laughs> the whole backlog is just this. 
What do I do? I thought that that was the way to enter the code. Hey, are you listening? No, I don't love you. I don't love you like I did yesterday. That's a famous line from a song. All right. Clearly, we're stuck in a loop. I need to figure out how to break this loop. I'm just saying, like, Monica, the loop that she puts you in at the end of the game, after you realize that she comes sentient, and people are hating on me for saying that these are similar? Come on! Are you kidding me? Where's your head at? Why wouldn't you think that? How could you not think that these are similar? I'm just saying, it, it's all there. Bro, if it tells me I gotta go in the files and change things, come on. All right, all right, what does it say? Status launched menu. Can't access, error. No such uh, file or directory. License to Miyuki Sone. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, think. Think critically here. What do I do? Configurations. There's gotta be something I can do in here. Help! <laughs> Where's the help button? <laughs> okay, maybe we just need to try pressing uh, this code in, right, right here. Let's just try doing it. 999-0523. No. Okay. Well, okay, let's try exiting the game. No, shut up. I'm gonna leave. Can you hear me? Are you picking up my signal? Did she get my signal? She's trying to reach me. I'm coming for you, Owie. I'm coming. She's hidden somewhere. How do I reach her? Bro, I'm getting these files open. You never know, right? Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> what do we got here? <laughs> well, I do have a text file here. I don't know what it what it means. Let's try launching the game again and see what happens. Ohio. No! No, Ohio! Oh, I'm stuck in the loop. Time loop! Okay, so what if I say yes? What if I say yes? That's funny. You said you couldn't earlier. Oh, she's nose! <laughs> I retraced my memories. I can't remember ever saying no to her. All right, that wasn't you. That was a different you from a different file. What file? Hey, you. I know everything. I have the memories from other routes. I have the backlog from the old save files. And I, she knows all about the music lessons. And I know everything that will happen next. Yuki looks at me as she whispers, but it's like she's not really seeing me at all. Oh my god. You guys, you guys freaking actually did a really great job at explaining to me. Uh, apparently she was using a different a U. I cannot find the comment right now. I, I favorited it. I don't know where it's at right now. See, this is what I mean. This game has done such a, a, a unique thing. So apparently someone pointed out in last uh, episode in the comments, I, I can't find it, but shout out to whoever you are. You know who you are. They uh, pointed out that Sone, see, I actually want to listen to this. Let, let's hear her talk. I want to hear her say something just so I can check it for myself. She should be addressing us differently than anyone else in the game addresses us, and it has to do with the way Japanese is. So it's really important. And it wouldn't work in English, as far as I know. In this world, there's only one ending, and it's with me. Except that I'm not gonna give up. See, that's the thing too, like, once you start learning a little bit of Japanese, you realize that they don't say exactly, uh, like, exactly what they say. Like, she said, I give up. She didn't say accept it, but it means the same thing. And embrace it. Shinichi, wake up. Wake up, you dummy. Oh, we're back in the loop. We're back in the loop. We're just falling asleep. She keeps hitting us probably with a baseball bat every time. <laughs> but someone take that bat away from her. Th think about it. Watch. Let's let's hear what she says. I want to hear her say you and see her what she says. That way I could see for sure. Oh, have you figured out how this world works? Is she saying something different now? Just so you know, I remember everything about you. Anata. Anata. Yeah, so she says Anata, which means you. Don't you dare or dare try to pull any studs that you pulled in Aoi's route. Still, it sucks not being able to save your game, huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I bet it does. Well, I'd hate for you to rage quit on me. Oh, she rage quit on me? Alright, I can I concede. You concede. I'll let users- I can save? Sweet! So now she's unlocked. She's I, I gotta Ohio. save DLC now. Nice. <laughs> I'm so glad. Wait, don't be shy. Go ahead and use my save data. Oh, but I deleted your saves though. This is her save data? It's all gonna be nothing but good memories with her, isn't it? Oh wow. Okay, that's interesting. Should I click one? She just wants me to say, ah, I love this world. I never have to leave it. It's amazing. I love it. 
Let's go to happy birthday and see what happens. Although I think it's probably something I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Should I? Okay, what about a date at catnip? Because Aoi was supposed to be there, except she's calling it a date. Mmm, whoever owns this place must really love cats. Oh, Miyuki, your face. Oh, she loves cats. Oh, of course. She loves my cat over here, too. I bet she really love it. Look, it's got a little butthole. Have you guys seen it? Is that blurry? No wonder why she likes me. It's my cat. Oh, my God. See, I'm, like, destined to play this game. Seriously. So, don't you buy anything in here just the other day, too? Oh, just the cat video compilation DVD. <laughs> Who would buy that? Apparently her. She's the one to stay up late at night when she like something like that comes on at 3 in the morning. Buy now for three easy payments of $19.99. We'll send you all the cats. Funny cat DVD. Right. Have you always been this much of a cat fanatic? What's so great about cats anyway? I don't know how to explain it. They're just elegant, you know? Yeah, I can see that. Cats has this little loop. I don't, hey, wait, we're in a loop right now. Shut up. Get me out of here. So this never happened, but she says it happened. Wait, what just happened? Oh, Miyuki glares at me and snatches the onesie from my hands. So I picked the onesie. Is it because she reminds of her, uh, it reminds her of Aoi? You think I can actually pull something like this off? Well, I mean, you never know, right? Fat chance. Miyuki puts the onesie back on the shelf. Ooh, she got mad because obviously that's what Aoi would wear. Oh, this is so cute, kawaii. She points to a cat-shaped hairpin on display. So, in her eyes, we're going on a date with her, me, me. Uh, honey, I am married, okay? My wife ain't gonna like that, but you know what? She has a bat, so I'm scared. So, you know, I guess we should go with it. I want to hear her say you. Okay, so she likes this. The pin, obviously. There's two? Why is there two? We're gonna- I'm just gonna pick everything to make her mad. Yeah, so what if there's two of them? <laughs> well, it's fine, but... Uh, but what? I have no answer. Even I'm not sure why I care how many there are. Uh, well... Well, what? They're not exactly the same. See? Which one do you like? What was that? What was that? Oh, this one sucks. Oh, okay. I don't see what makes that one so much worse because it was always... I grab it and hurry over to the register. So she must have hated it when I gave it to her before. Here's a token of my gratitude for everything you do for me each day. She'll treasure it. Aren't you gonna wear it? No, it wouldn't suit me besides. Okay, so she didn't say you. I know it says it right here, but she didn't say it Japanese. I'm just so happy you thought to give me something at all. Her smile is bewitchingly cute. Anyway, all I was trying to say is that someone pointed out Anata uh, is used mainly by wives addressing their husbands. Kimi is used by very is used very rarely. I've heard it used at daycare when my kids go to nannies, but it's also rare and they will normally use the kids' names. Which is true. I I've watched animes and you know even from a person learning Japanese. Uh, that's usually the only time you really hear Anata is usually with like close like usually people that love each other So any other character in the game? Uh, I haven't like went back and checked, but I'm pretty sure it's the case uh, They pointed out that they use uh, like Kibi or they'll use something else uh, But not Anata because the only reason why Miyuki's been using that is because this entire game She's been talking to us and to her. We are the husbando. I guess I'm the husbando here. Okay? I feel special. So it's just like little stuff like that that it's like it, it's so cool, man. It's so freaking cool. But how do I get the heck out of here? How do I get the freak out of here? Let me out! Oh stop, stop! I don't mean to skip. Oh god. I didn't mean to skip, guys. I'm sorry. I, I clicked it and it Okay, I can read back what she said though. Oh, hey you! Why do you ask me why there were two hairpins? Of all the bizarre choices, poor Shinichi had a heck of a time keeping up with the conversation after that. Oh, she's like scolding us like a true tsundere. Yeah, I know. The real question you wanted to ask is, why were there only one hairpin in Aoi's route, right? There were originally two after all, though my route was so long you might have forgotten by now. Tell me, why do you think one of them disappeared? Deep down, you know the answer, don't you? Because I hid it. I figured it might come in handy later. And back when we stormed into the apartment, if I hadn't planted that hairpin there as evidence, you likely would have never have questioned your faith in Aoi. Oh, so Aoi actually never did that? Aoi never left the hairpin there? But that's all in the past, I suppose. So she did set it up, but in reality, she did cheat on us. So she kind of didn't do a bad thing. Oh, so I have a choice now. I can love Aoi or love Miyuki. Please give Aoi back. Oh. Ooh. I just want to make her mad, but I also want to say give Aoi back. Love Aoi. 
You're wasting your time. I'm the one who gets to choose, you know. Hmm, let's see. What scene shall we play this time? Yuki bites back a smile as she speaks. Meanwhile, I pick up my bowl of miso. I'm just here eating my miso. I'm just here eating my miso. Bro, I'm scared. Oh, gosh. She's picked it this time. Sorry, it took so long. Oh, hey, got some ice cream. Yep, here's yours. Uh, she hands me a vanilla ice cream. Uh, that's my favorite. Where'd you get it? Miyuki pulls out a fudge pot for herself. I like to get these usually. You sure you won't get fat? <laughs> I can eat as much as I want. I have a high metabolism. That's because you're pixels. You do? Since when? Since recently. How did that happen? Oh, I forgot how to cheat the system. <laughs> yeah, you can do that when you're a video game. Those god dang video games. How much do you weigh these days? You really want to know? Honto, yes. Uh, nah, I'm good. I came under the intensity of her glare. You know who that's directed towards, right? You know, it's really nice walking up just the two of us. Could you imagine if someone tried to interrupt this? Wouldn't it just piss you off? Not really. <laughs> I just want to make her so angry. Well, I wouldn't like it, Miyuki declares flatly. I prefer it when it's just us. I won't let anyone else ruin that. Oh, here we go again. What the? Where am I? It's like, a, it's like Groundhog Day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Let me know if she does something weird. The question is, when is it gonna stop? Do we just keep making choices and keep saying we want Aoi back until she breaks? Oh, Eventually she will, right? Oh, she greets me as she cooks breakfast. Why is the music changing? What should we do today? Uh, continue. Oh, choose Aoi's routes. Oh, dang. So we, I'm sure, surely we could stay in Miyuki's route forever. So that's why you need to play this game to see like what else, what else is all available. I always said I want the true ending, so let's do Aoi. No. You never get what you want. Why won't you just love me? It would be so much easier for you that way. Dodging the question, I take a sip of her homemade miso soup. Oh, I love this! As the bowl touches my lips, my fingers brush, brush my chin. What the? Since when did my beard get this long? Oh! Oh, it's, it's insane. Sorry, I took so long. Oh, if we're doing the ice cream one again. Can I pick another one? Let's pick another one. I don't want the same one. If I'm gonna have to go through this, it, with this. Oh, there are my precious memories with Shinichi. Choose whatever one you like. Happy birthday. Let's do that one. Hopefully she doesn't bring her bath this time. Happy birthday, dear Shinichi. Uh, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, the flashbacks. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, God. Oh, uh, thank you for saying tanjoubi. Thank you. Uh, arigato. We sit across from each other at the table between us. It's a birthday cake with four candles. Uh, it's not much of a party with just two people, but it's more than enough for me. Man, how long has it been since we last celebrated my birthday together? Not as long as you think, really? From here on out, we can celebrate as much as you like. Thanks. Her words imply she'll stay with me for the rest of my life, and it makes my chest tighten. It's because I'm getting all these gains. Man, it feels like I'm dreaming or something. How so? Uh, it's hard to explain. Feels like I'll wake up and it'll be gone. I always hope things would turn out like this. So I'm gonna say this. Like I'm just hallucinating it. Uh, you don't have to wake up. No, she said Kimi though. So was I wrong about what I said earlier? I know I know Anata is used by, by uh, wives though. I, I read Shin-chan and the wife would say that. She'd say Anata wa? Anata? Alright, so this is actually a lot better. So Kimi used by men towards uh, people of lower status, but obviously girls can use it too. It's essentially really direct. Uh, omae, which you guys all know, omae. Oh it's very informal. So I guess you probably, I would guess you'd only use that with like friends or people you really know, and if you're just messing around, you know. And uh, anta or nata, highly informal and generally rude or admonishing in nature. So the Japanese is kimi to konojo to kanojo no ai? Is that how you say that? Uh, koi, koi. Yeah, koi, okay, yeah. I, I didn't know how to say that. Kimi to kanojo to kanojo no koi. So really, the game is called You, Her, and Her Love. It's really interesting. I don't know, <laughs> this is this is not that important. I just wanted to, I was just curious. What is reality but an undending dream? Just stay with me always. The sweetness of the cake paired with Miyuki's sugary words. They're too sugary. They're almost deadly. Together, they create a magic spell that robs me of my energy to think. Oh, that's right. Time for your presents. Uh, uh, do you remember what I asked you? Um, what do you mean? You know the one thing about the love, the turtle thing? You know the one. I do? 
Uh, care to enlighten me? God, God, you don't remember? I asked if you were into maid outfits. Oh. Oh, that present. Wow. <laughs> hey. I, I, I do remember that. Truth be told, I still don't remember. I do. <laughs> this Shinichi does not remember, though. Oh, my God. She's saying, if you prove to me you love me, if you convince me your feelings are the real deal, I'll wear it for you. Look, I just want to get the heck out of this Groundhog Day. I don't care. Where's Aoi? Really? On your next birthday, I promise. My next birthday? It's too far away. She's too embarrassed. She won't wear it. As far as I know, we only get one birthday per year. I don't know what she's saying. Until then, just do your best to convince me, okay? Then she puts on her business smile. There's no use arguing. Oh, <laughs> I'm breaking. It just goes on and on and on and on. All right, what's she going to say to me this time? Nothing? I guess I got to keep picking different ones. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, escape from the apartment. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, let's do that. No, you'll never get what you want. Why don't you just love me? What? It's happening again. Oh, that's right. Today's a special day for you and me. I heard it say Anata. Do you know what I'm talking? Uh, uh, I checked the date on the calendar, but I still have no clue. Yeah, I would expect you to know Shinichi. She wasn't this close before, was she? I'm just saying. I'm pointing that out. Today marks one week since you arrived here today. How do you like it? You have acclimated, acclimated to everything. Yeah, I guess. When we first started living in the same apartment, it got fairly awkward at times, but at point I'd said started to get used to it. Gotcha. Well then, I, I'll give you a little present. Present? A gift for spending a full week with me here. I'll let you raise my affection meter a whole bunch. Don't you want to? But, oh god, what are you talking about? Oh, it's a kiss. She wants a kiss. Okay, yeah. You're right, you're right. Work with a friend and boyfriend after all. I'll kiss you and then I'm freaking jumping out the window. Isn't that right, Shinichi? She gazes at me passionately and draws close. I just know how soft those lips are. I can't possibly refuse. Ah, oh, she's had Daisuke. Okay. Oh, we're at the batting cages. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, God! Seriously! So scary! Miku's ball flies up, tracing a lazy arc in the air and smacks us to the double target. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, sucks for you! Well, somebody sure sounds confident. You think you can beat me? Maybe guess we'll find out, won't we? I grabbed the bat resting against the wall. Tonight, we rented out the batting cage just for ourselves. Our home run competition is officially underway. Uh, the loser has to do anything the winner says. Okay. You're on! Wait, you're gonna pitch to me? What, you think you don't know how to throw the ball? Miyuki definitely has the talent to pull it off. Anything she puts to her mind, and that includes pitching. But these cages are meant for batting, and besides, she's still got her school unit. Whoa! What was I supposed to do with that fastball? That was a submarine pitch! Give me a break. As we swing, so she's super strong, too. As with her swing, her pitching form is effortlessly breathtaking. Naturally, her speed can't compete with pitching machine, but she's still quite impressive. Honestly, it might actually make it harder to hit a home run. The ball gazes past my cheek. If I'd even been one sp split second sh uh, slower, it could have struck me right in the face. Sorry, my hand slipped. Oh my god, she is so scary. What's wrong? Your legs are shaking. Ah! So she's just like throwing super fast. She winds up. I'm done for. This is, this is Miyuki we're talking about. She'll want to finish this once and for all. I'm at the end of my rope. But that's when I realized all the time we spent together has given me clues. I need to predict this last pitch. She's a perfectionist, and so far her final throw, she'll choose her signature pitch. A fork ball. Yes, we hit it! Oh, God. Yes, home run. How did you know what I was planning for the last ball? I thought you to pitch that way back when, remember? Ooh, we taught her everything she knows. You remember? Well, all right. You won't you won fair and square. I'll do whatever you ask. So what do you want from me? Whatever I ask, huh? Well, it was a narrow victory. Surely I can get away with asking for something a little ballsy. And in case one thing comes to mind. Oh, I want Owie. So if, if you're really like a Miyuki fanatic, this would be great. You wouldn't even have to go to the other ending. You'd just be good with this. I want Owie. You mean the girl from the visual novel? Yeah, her. Obviously... Always a heroine in a game called You and Me and Her. And when I say I want her, what I mean is, there's this hug pill I've been wanting to buy. You're kidding. 
Shinichi, you actually like those things? Of her? So now... What, what the heck? So now they're talking about like her in a game? A hug pillow, really? I don't own anything like that. Maybe I'll let you get away with like a life-size cardboard cutout, but she looks pretty scandalized. Do you really have any idea how embarrassing it was to ask? Come on, don't look at me like that. She's, Shinichi, please, it's not too late to turn back. Like, don't be a weird obsession. Just fall in love with a normal human being. <laughs> I can't. I am, I love anime. It's pretty soon I'll be on Dr. Phil. Come on, don't be ridiculous. When I look at her, it hits me. She's not joking. Her eyes are swimming with tears. So, I'm so confused. She was always, like, against video games. But, like, why? She is a video game. Am I really that repulsive to you? I love you so much. So, so much. Would you really choose a 2D character over me? You are 2D! That's it. I just, uh, it's just different. I guess I don't know how to explain it. I just don't get it. Let's see. Oh, I know. It's like when you finish eating dinner. But here comes dessert. I'm not your freaking dessert! Oops. Forget it. I'm going home. Wait, Miyuki! But she ignores me and leaves. Guess I won't be getting what I want. Oh, here we go again. You have Aoi back. We haven't picked that yet. Oh, you want to see Aoi that badly, do you? Yes, I'm begging you. I guess if you're that desperate, I'll let you see her later. Really? What I lie to you? Now finish your breakfast. She admonishes me gently as I do as, as she suggests. Well, we saw her. We saw her. And um, we done played the whole marching band. Having fun? Whoa! I heard a sudden voice behind me and I nearly jumped out of my skin. Don't scare me like that! Wow, rude much? And here I let you borrow my phone so you could spend a little time with Aoi. Oh, so that was on her phone? I'm so confused. So she let us spend time with her. Okay. Whatever, I'll let you off easy today. Now you understand, right? Aoi's just a heroine in a visual novel. She's not real. Where does that come from? So she's trying to just, just say that she's not real. I see. That's her plan. Ah, I trust you. She smiles and pats my shoulder. There's got to be a way to get out of here. How do we do it? It hasn't given me a chance to pull out, like, put a code in. Oh, something's happening. Oh, hi. Hello, hey. Are you mad at me right now? I'm just a little scared. You think Aoi's more than just a fictional character in a video game? I think. You think Aoi's a real person? And you think a certain someone made this world all screw screwed up? Is that what you believe? And you think it's possible to actually fall in love with a video game character? Well, apparently you do. You do, right? That's why you made those choices, isn't it? Well, guess what? I believe it, too. I believe you can fall in love with me. You will, won't you? You know, at this point, like, part of me wants to choose her. Because I did not feel right with what they did with, uh, uh, Aoi. She did love us, though. So, in a way, I kind of, like, feel sorry for her because she didn't want to do those things. But she felt like she had to because that was her purpose. She wanted... Like, her purpose was to be with other people, but she actually said that she really did love us, so... I guess I have to explore that, you know? Like, I don't know. Do nothing. Forget Aoi. Remember Aoi. Remember her. I'm just gonna keep remembering her. <sighs> this doesn't work. It's all the same. Okay, now we're doing lunch. I'm not gonna read all this. You guys can go get the game if you want to see it all. My guess is we're gonna be able to pick tomato juice, and then, like, she's gonna be all mad. There it is! I see it coming. <laughs> Which would you rather drink, this or tea? Ya Baileys! Give me some Ya Baileys. Makes you feel all zappy zappy. I thought you hated it. I can still drink it though, and it's probably good for you. I see you're trying to be healthy, are we? Yeah, that's it. I'm just trying to make you mad. <laughs> and she's the one that brought it though. I didn't even have it. I don't know anyone who likes this stuff. Okay. God, how much we're gonna have to go through all of this, man. Is it gonna make me go through every scene? Escape! How come I can't escape? All right, so now we're hanging out with Aoi or uh, Yutaro. Uh, let's ask about Aoi. I'm talking about Aoi, obviously. What? Give me a break. I mean, sure, she's a super cute, routeless side character, and you and me and her, like crazy cute. I'm talking Dojin's figure. <laughs> uh, my guy. If I had the money, I, I wouldn't buy any of it. Obviously, no, sir. Of course not. Right? Of course not. Don't look at me like that. You would totally buy those mouse pads. <laughs> she storms off. Did you make him mad? Apparently, 
What are you? Why not apologize? We're just screwing around. Hmm, I never understand guy friendships. Well, what are girl friendships like? She pauses to think. Kind of like a world record, I guess. How so? No matter how impressive it looks on the outside, it exists to be broken. Dang. Okay, I have a feeling I need to do something, but what? Do I? What do I do? I, I, how do I get to the phone? Wait, 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 what does restart do? I didn't even see that. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we go back to the rooftop? Is there any way we can enter the number again? She threw the phone though, so we don't even have the phone anymore. I think we have to exit the game. I I'm following a guide. I still don't know it. I didn't want to do that, but I really, we're really freaking stuck in a loop. Oh, are you the center of the universe? Then you should be able to hear me loud and clear. I've just been playing her games this entire time. I thought like maybe we could do something at the side of the game. We just gotta keep exiting, I guess. Are we still in the loop? I'm still in the loop. Still in the loop. Oh, okay, so apparently we have to go to study session. All right, I don't wanna look at the walkthrough anymore because I wanna see what happens. Yuki and I sit across from each other. Between us, the notebook lays open. We're busy working on our homework. Uh, about this question, uh, oh, that one. Upon first glance, Miyuki appears to have mastered every school subject, but in truth, she has one weakness, biology. So I'm helping her out. For this one, this one goes here, and then you substitute that. Oh, I get it. I've always been pretty good. Biology sucks. But my guidance, Miyuki solves the problem in a flash. Squitch, squitch, squitch. Our pens fly over the paper. I can feel her breath from across the table. I wish this moment could last forever. It's her perfect little fantasy. Just felt like saying it. Try to focus, all right? I know. She, she shoots me a guilty grin. I need to concentrate a bit harder. Time to it's time for something sugary. So that's what she's after. She jumps to her feet. Her phone tumbles from her pocket. Oh, we're gonna grab her phone, aren't we? I quietly peer into the dining hall. Apparently she stopped by the rest the restroom on her way to the kitchen. So this is like her universe, isn't it? No wonder why this room is so white and crazy. It's just her like layer. This is her evil layer. Seems like she's been gone for a while. Mess with her phone. Okay, this is where we gotta put the number in, I bet. I surreptitiously can take the phone in. <laughs> Ooh, go through her photos. I kinda wanna see her photos though. Launch the game? Go through her address book. I cut I come back, right? Let's just see her photos. Most of oh, most of the photos are both of us. But there's some photos I don't recognize offhand. There's another folder in the thumbnail. It's titled diary. I open it to find rows of photos of her diary entries. I'm gonna think about it. I remember Miyuki saying she's always kept a diary. Oh. Today I met with Muko on the school roof. It was my first time speaking with her, but as it turned out, the rumor about her being a space case is totally true. She confl she conflates video games with reality and treats me like a romance option in a visual novel. It's absolutely unacceptable. My feelings are my feelings for Shinichi are not something to be trifled with. I always left oh so, so she just documented everything. I always left the manga cafe to rescue an abandoned kitten, so Shinichi and I went looking for her. We searched into the whole town until we found her. At that point, I've, I thought to myself, maybe it's okay for me just to be honest about how I really feel. Maybe it's okay to tell Shinichi I thought. But then Aoi interrupted me before I could. She collapsed and Shinichi ended up walking her back to the manga cafe, leaving me to go home by myself. Then I heard a phone ringing in the distance. I followed the ringing. Wouldn't you know, I found Aoi's cell phone. Well, she, yeah, that's when she was so salty. It was a call from God. Looking back, I'm not sure why I decided to answer that call, but I did. In that instant, I did. Something took root in my heart. I decided thinking maybe God really does exist. I couldn't believe it. What was that visual novel? It was clearly, it was really, it was nearly identical to the real world. Will those same events play out in real life too? Even the ending? I decided I'd ask Shinichi about it at school the next day. So I went home and downloaded the game on my phone. Then I played through it just to check, but the game isn't a reflection of reality. Reality is a reflection of the game. Going forward, I have to forget everything I thought I knew. That's the only path to my happiness. And the only way I'll end up with Shinichi in the world. How to preserve memories. Call God equals save. Aoi is an event collection device as an avatar. She requires energy, what she calls battery power to maintain her existence. Likewise, saving the game also requires energy as it involves calling God. No energy required to receive a call. Aoi's right, the roof gets the best reception. As a human, I don't need energy to exist. It still costs me to save the game, but it's not too devastating. The key is the SIM card. The SIM is more important than the phone itself. The SIM card allows for my photos to carry over. As long as I take my photos in my diary, no matter how- what route I end up, I can keep a record of events. Yesterday, you betrayed me. What the heck? She's so jealous. Today, I killed Shinichi. You probably hate me for that, but it's your fault. You pledged your love. Oh my god. Okay. I've been living with Shinichi for two weeks. We flung that tacky looking phone off the school roof, and now we start our new life. I know what I'm doing is sick and wrong. Truth be told, I don't really want to have, uh, to use sedatives. She's- oh my god. 
I really don't want to mess with routes, but if I don't, you'll leave me. You'll abandon me so we can get out. So we can leave. What is this? Oh, she caught us. Uh, my photos? No, listen, I didn't look through it. It's okay, I don't care if you did. It doesn't make any sense anyway. So she doesn't know about the diaries. Still, I can tell. Everything I wrote had an intended effect. Isn't that right? I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay, we obviously need to place a phone call. Out of curiosity, I opened her address book. What the? I may have tapped the wrong thing. Let me try again. No, no matter how many times I open it, there's only one entry. God. A burner phone for God? I mean, I know Miki has two phones, so it makes sense she'd resolve- So she kept Aoi's phone and threw her phone. Is that what happened? Place a phone call. So obviously- Okay, alright, we about to get to this, guys. So we place the call, okay. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to dial his number. And the line connects. Uh, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Affirmative. What? Connection established. Uh, hi, uh, is that really you, God? Dependent upon interpretation, I am an al- al I'm an amalgamation. Oh uh, God, it's so hard to say. I'm an amalgamation to every visual novel heroine. Alternatively, an abstract, an amalgamation, an abstract. What is this person even talking about? Sounds like the kind of nonsense Aoi ba babbles about you and me and her. Time is limited. Transmitting only required information. You are currently in prison. Prison? Backlog analyzed. The universe has already been partially modified. Miyuki has developed a, narco a narcotic that can inhibit one's perception of reality. It is stored in the small paper bag and added to food. In a state of sleep drunkenness, you are forced to interpret video game scenes as real life events. It is likely you fall unconscious immediately following a meal. Or it is likely. Come to think of it, I seem to remember my mind getting all fuzzy every morning when I wake up when I drink my miso soup. Can you surmise the corresponding event? Nah, this is ridiculous. She can't possibly hold me prisoner. A rollback is needed for this universe. Only Miyuki and Aoi have uh, initiation permissions. By Aoi, you mean the character from the visual novel. Aoi exists in reality. The mobile game is a mirror image of your reality. The universe is also true. Miyuki has inter interfered with the program. She has recoded the game in order to designate Aoi as fictional. Currently, Aoi is only fictional within the game, but Aoi exists in reality through... Though you believe otherwise. However, should Miyuki finish reprogramming the game and transmit a patch, the real world will update. At which point, Aoi's existence will be recoded as fictional and she will disappear from reality. Oh, so she's trying to get her out. I don't know what else to say. How am I supposed to believe this? You must escape your confines and deliver the smartphone with Sim installed to Aoi. With her help, the universe can be rolled back to a restore point prior to Miyuki's changes. Two methods are available. Raise Miyuki's affection and lower her guard. Or lower her affection and incur her wrath. Look, are we done here? Real talk, I don't understand a single word you- Aoi is in existence any like, unlike any other. She has experienced love countless times, populated with countless protagonists. She was merely an empty vessel, but this time she learned to perceive unique emotions. She holds a romantic affection towards you. She does? Source unknown, unable to pro process confirmed bug. Connection and memory sync required to investigate. Hence, we ask of you, Deliver the SIM card to Aoi and perform memory sync. Restore the universe to its original code! A baseball bat slams the- Oh my god. I dropped the phone. Bad boy. Miyuki picks up the phone and hangs up. What were you doing? Nothing? Tell me the truth. You talked with God, didn't you? Uh, no? Why would you try to lie to me? You know I can just check the call history. All oh, right. Let me guess. She thinks she's telling the truth. Of course not. Ah, I never believe that. Yeah. I'm not surprised you feel that way, I suppose. In that case, I'll let you off the hook this time. But let's see. Miyuki looks away and mutters to herself, her gaze fixed on some distant world only she can see. Now that you found it, I'll have to come out with a, a countermeasure. Oh, she knows that we know. Okay, we gotta go back. <laughs> what is even love? <laughs> I love Aoi! You promised me, remember? Which means you need to do exactly as I tell you. you you'll be happier that way. Won't you agree? I'm begging you, please don't look at any other women. Dodging the question, I take a sip of her homemade miso soup. Mmm. <laughs> Just then dark curtains fall over my eyes. Is this my hair? Dang, he's been there that long? Boy. Alright, we gotta go back to study session. Maybe we could st we gotta be able to enter that code somehow. Oh, the lock screen appears! She has a lock with a fingerprint too! I tested it with my index finger, but naturally my uh, print is rejected. 
I see there's an unlock via security questions option, but you- Oh, she has security questions? Oh god, well, I better study up, huh? Do I really have to figure out the security questions? Oh my god. If she knows we're gonna do that, why does she keep leaving the phone? <laughs> right? I can hang out with myself? This game's getting crazy. Alright, let's try going through her photos again. How are we able to do that if she has a lock? <laughs> I'm just saying, plot hole. That's the same though. Is there anything about security questions? <laughs> if you insist you hate real girls that much, then I'll just have to rehabilitate you. Oh my god, so this changed. How? I'll make your wildest dreams come true. Really? Of course. I'll give you everything you could want ever and more. I don't think that's a good thing, is it? Just you wait and see. Oh, it's Aoi. Did she come with her saxophone today? I guess I'll find out. Wake up. She's in the room. Oh! Hey! Is that you? Am I dreaming? Nope. This is real life. After all, I'm just cosplaying. Huh? I'm so confused! Bro, that doesn't even- wait, wait, wait. That doesn't even look like her! I'm doing this in hopes that you might fall in love with a real human life being instead of a video game character. Oh my god. Cosplay? But how does she make herself shorter and less curvy? <laughs> Okay, so she brought her saxophone. Okay, well, that was interesting. Um, can I escape now? Dang it. When are you gonna leave? Do you have a job? Alright guys, uh, I think there's actually a lot more to this game, but, uh, we gotta break out, right? Uh, I don't wanna keep going because these episodes will be way too long. But guys, smash like if you wanna see the end of this game. I, I honestly thought we were gonna be able to get through here, but it's so much longer. We gotta break out. Uh, I don't know. Aoi can't hear you. Can't hear your voice. But Aoi trusts that the signal is reaching you. Okay. Alright, yeah, guys. That's all the time I have for right now. Uh, we've been playing uh, too long. But, uh, next episode, I'm gonna try my best to freaking beat this game. But, dang. It's so unique. I love this game. I, I hope you recommend this to other people, guys. Because more people need to play this. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Luki's art. I freaking love that. See, I love that support for this game. Ah, that's amazing. What an amazing art. All right, guys, smash like if you want to see the the ending. Uh, I I gotta see what happens. I mean, it's so trippy. But anyway, I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye, guys.